Hey everyone, stop what you're doing, because this changes everything. PlayStation 3 emulation is finally on Android, and it's not what you expect. The legendary RPCS3 emulator has just dropped an early alpha build, and people are already testing out PS3 games on their phones. But here's the catch. Does it actually work? Is your phone powerful enough? And is this the future of high-end emulation? Today, we're diving deep into the reality of PS3 emulation on mobile. What works, what doesn't, and what you need to know before trying it yourself. Buckle up, because this is big. Let's get started. What is DHRPCS3? You might be wondering, who exactly is DHRPCS3 and why is their name all over this project? Well, DH is one of the key developers behind RPCS3, and they've been working behind the scenes for years to make PS3 emulation possible. The PC version of RPCS3 has been in development since 2011, and thanks to their hard work, we now have a functional Android version, even if it's still in its early testing phase. DHRPC3 recently released Alpha 2 of RPCS3 PS3 for Android, improving PlayStation 3 emulation on mobile. Now let's talk about the system requirements for DHRPCs 3. The official DHRPCs 3 requirements aren't out yet, but based on similar PS3 emulators, here's what you'll likely need. At a minimum, a quad-core ARM processor, 4 GB RAM, for best performance, an octa-core processor, 6 GB plus RAM, high-end Vulkan GPU. Let's jump into the emulator. I'll show you how to download and install it at the end of the video. This emulator is lightweight and has a simple UI. The game list is currently empty since I'm trying it for the first time, but don't worry, it's not a fake app. By tapping the three lines, you'll find firmware options. There is a plus icon that lets you add game files, including install firmware and install ISO or PKG, meaning it supports both game formats. Disclaimer, the emulator itself is legal, but using illegal ROMs is forbidden. I do not support or provide access to pirated games, so please use legal copies for your safety. Let's install the firmware, which is an essential component for running PS3 games. Fortunately, the PlayStation 3 firmware is available on PlayStation's official website, so you can easily download it. Make sure your internet connection is stable to avoid any interruptions during the process. Once downloaded, click on Install Firmware and navigate to the folder where the file is stored, most likely in the Downloads folder. The installation will start immediately and be completed within seconds. Let's add games. Simply click on Install ISO or PKG and navigate to the folder where your games are stored. I have a few games that I own, and you can even play high-end titles, so there's no need to worry about performance. Once selected, the game will start booting. Now let's see how to download the emulator. DHRPCs3 is an open source project available on GitHub. Simply visit the GitHub page, download the APK file, and install it. You might see a Google Play Protect warning because it's built with an older Android version, but it's safe to install. When running any game, the emulator takes a significant amount of time to compile shaders. Additionally, if the screen turns off, the emulator crashes. However, once the shaders are compiled, the games become playable. The app itself is quite basic, with no options for resolution settings, API selection, FPS adjustments, or control customization. I was only able to play small games or demo versions, while larger 3A titles failed to load. This emulator still requires a lot of development, and the developers need to address these issues. Users may lose hope in its progress. DHRPCs3 is a newly developed PS3 emulator with a promising future. I believe it has the potential to become one of the best emulators. Unlike other PS3 emulators like Olympus and Anstation, which have significant issues with game compatibility, DHRPCs3 offers a fresh alternative. We should wait for stable updates to see its full potential.